Hello and welcome. My name is Christina. I am a mindset and conscious manifesting teacher and coach here on YouTube. This is my brand new YouTube channel. Um, here I will be talking about all things law of assumption, mindset, conscious manifesting, the quantum universe, and a lot more. Um, so uh, my goal is to simplify everything and for all of us to learn from one another. So if this all sounds interesting to you, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel, comment, like this video, and just stick around. With all that being said, let's dive into today's video. Today, we're going to talk about why you should trust your manifestation to come into reality. And when I say reality, let me clarify here that I mean the 3D reality, the three-dimensional material world we all live in. Because your desire is already reality. I'm going to explain that in a moment, okay? So, why should we trust our manifestation to be done, to be ours, to come true, to become real, objective reality? One very big reason for that, um, and there are, is that creation is already finished. So you're not creating anything from scratch. Let that sink in for a moment. You're not creating anything from scratch. What you want, what you desire, what you have imagined as your desired reality, as your ideal reality, already exists. Creation is already finished. And in fact, if what you desire didn't exist, you wouldn't be able to imagine it or think about it. So the mere fact that you're able to imagine it, you're able to think about it, you're able to even daydream about it, focus on it in imagination, and all, all those uh, mental and emotional functions, you wouldn't be able to have any of those if your reality, if your, if your desired reality, if your desire didn't exist. Now, Many of you might ask, so where does it exist? Because I don't see it. Uh, in fact, you may even be seeing the opposite right now of what you want. So that's very normal. Uh, this is not your fault or anyone's fault. It's how our conscious mind is designed. Our conscious mind is designed to only see and experience what we can feel with our senses, what we can see, what we can hear, what we can touch, what we can smell, what we can taste. You get it. Whatever is in front of us right now and we can experience and perceive with our five senses, then that's reality as far as our conscious mind is concerned. Our conscious mind does not recognize anything else as reality and cannot see beyond whatever our present circumstances might be. So there's that. So this is why you might feel like how is it reality? I can't really see it. I, I, I don't know. I, I, I'm doubting that. I don't think it's real. Well, they exist in what we call the quantum field. Now, some people might call it the universe. Some other people, um, and I like that uh, definition as well, they might call it the field of infinite potential or the field of infinite possibility. They all mean the same thing. For simplicity's sake, let's call it the quantum field here, the quantum universe. So what the quantum field is, is a space in consciousness, which we all share, all human beings and all creatures on this planet and the universe share, uh, where everything exists. All potentials exist, all possibilities exist, everything, literally everything you can imagine or think about or daydream about exists in the quantum field as a possibility. So what you do, what you're doing when you're consciously manifesting is that you're actually drawing from that field of infinite potential, that quantum field, whatever your desire is. You're drawing it on you by focusing your attention on it. And I'm not going to go into the techniques today. We can talk about that in another video. There are many ways to do, to do that and focus your attention on your desired reality. But what you are essentially doing is you're drawing it upon you into your material world so that you can see it and experience it objectively. You can actually see it as matter, as object. You can see it objectified and you can experience it 
enjoy it, and all that. But essentially, it already exists in the quantum field as a potential, and it's ready for you to draw it in. It's waiting for you, literally, to draw it in and experience it. The other thing that's tied in with that is that if you have a desire that has popped up inside of you, that has been, let's say, given to you, that means not only that your desire exists in the quantum field, as we just um, explained, but that you were meant to experience it. It was meant for you. It was given to you because you were meant to experience it. It was meant for you to live that experience, to have that thing, to be that person, to be, uh, to be that experience. Okay. And not only that, but since the reality already exists in the quantum field, even if you can't see it right now in your 3D world, it already exists. Let that sink in. Let that sink in very well. It already exists. It's already there. You're not creating it from scratch. So if your desire has been given to you, which means you were meant to experience that desire in the 3D world, you were meant to have that life experience, it also means that the ways and the means in which it's going to be materialized are already there. They've already been devised. Again, you're not creating anything from scratch. It's there for you. It's there for you as a potential. You're drawing it into your world, into your 3D world. And the quantum field also already has the ways in which to materialize it. And again, you don't have to be able to see these ways in the 3D world. Because again, like I said, with our conscious mind, we're only able to um, perceive a finite number of ways or means. And a lot of the time, we don't, we don't see them. A lot of the times, our circumstances might feel impossible. A lot of the time, it just doesn't seem like it's something that's even possible or likely to happen to us. But it doesn't matter. The, the fact that your desire exists in you, it means it exists in the quantum field. It means it was meant for you. And it means there are ways in which it can be materialized. And I'm going to leave it at that for today. Uh, I'm hoping to go into more depth in future videos about all of these things. But for today, let's leave it here. Let's just remember, once again, if you have a desire, if you can imagine it, if you can think about it, it already exists in the quantum field. It's already been created for you in the quantum field because creation is finished. You were meant to experience it. That's why it was given to you. And the means already exist. The means for it to materialize in the, into the 3D world. So we're going to leave it at that for today. This is why you can and this is why you should trust that your manifestation will come true into the 3D world, I guess. So thank you for watching. I intend that this helped you in some way. And uh, see you at the next video. Bye-bye.